This is the verdict, laments the Gospel of John. Light has come into the world, but people love darkness instead of the light. But whoever lives by the truth comes into the light. The prophet Micah worked in the Jerusalem countryside around the time of Isaiah. His name means, Who is like unto the Lord? He was lamenting his own sins, but he knows that God, as he says, will bring me out into the light. I will see his righteousness. St. Augustine has a profound teaching. He was within, and we mistakenly sought him outside. It isn't a matter of believing in the inner light. It's a matter of yielding your lives to him. St. Simeon, called the New Theologian, was a Byzantine monk and poet of the 10th century. He was made a saint by the Orthodox Church. He taught that people should and could experience God. Listen to his encouragements. Do not say that it is impossible to receive the Spirit of God. Do not say that it is possible to, to be made whole without him. Do not say that men cannot perceive the divine light, or that it is impossible in this age. Never is it found to be impossible, my friends. On the contrary, it is entirely possible when one desires it. In the Gospel of John, Jesus tells his audience, I am the light of the world. He who follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. But now listen to this from Matthew's Gospel. Jesus says, You are the light of the world. Jesus is the light of the world, and we are the light of the world. Coming into the light means becoming the light. Wow! 